So we're here in 2023. And in 2023, you got multiple options when it comes to, in my opinion, one of the best selling touring bikes or best looking touring bikes in, that in there is. So this is a road glide special. You got four options when it comes to the road glide. You got the road glide standard. You got the road glide special, which you're looking at here. You got the road glide ST, and then you have the road glide limited. Your base road glide is going to come in at 23,849 after freight and surcharge. And that's on your road glide standard in the vivid black. But there are some differences between the road glide standard and the road glide special, which we have here. One of those being price point. The Road Glide Special in the Vivid Black, not in this Atlas Silver that we have right here in front of me, comes in at $29,849 after surcharge and freight. That's what Harley has the prices listed at on their website. What do you get for that difference? We're not going to even talk about the ST model. We're not going to talk about the Road Glide Limited. Today, we're just going to be talking about the Road Glide Special and the differences of this bike versus the standard so first things first this bike belongs to speedway harley davidson and it's already been upfitted it has some factory 47 bars on it as well as reinhardt exhaust pipes that's not going to come with your road glide special in its stock configuration but the road glide special does have some things different than the standard number one is going to be it comes with a larger capacity bag it's going to come with your stretched bags what i mean by stretched is if you notice right here, your standard road glide will cut off around somewhere around there. This one wraps around the exhaust pipe and stretches it, which gives it a different look that a lot of people love. Another big difference is you're going to get the 114 motor that's putting out 118 foot pounds of torque versus the standard is going to come with your 107 which puts out 111 foot pounds of torque another difference which i just found out today from comparing the two is the center console looks completely different on these two bikes on this one it's going to look more streamlined and flush and you put your fuel in through here but on the standard it has the older center console with the button right here and you put the fuel right in through the middle On the special, you're going to get this nice painted gloss inner fairing, which looks really good. It's almost like a piano black. I love the way that looks. And on the standard, it's going to be just your basic um, flat trim. On the special, it's going to come stock with the 6.5 infotainment center that you can see here. But on the standard, you have a 4.3 with the option of upgrading to the 6.5. The special comes stock with ABS as well as ELB. And the special is going to give you the heavy air breather versus the standard air breather that you get on the standard. Now, if you're looking at the Vivid Black, the Vivid Black version of this bike, then that is a $6,000 price increase between the two. But what you have to decide is, is that worth it to you? In my opinion, I feel like it's definitely worth it because let alone for the 114 motor, there's a big difference in the feel from the 114 and the 107, especially if you're looking to upgrade your motorcycle. If you're gonna upgrade this bike, you're gonna definitely want the 114 motor just for the additional horsepower and the torque. I myself don't care about the stretch bags. I actually prefer the chop bags because if I had one of these bikes, I would be putting a two and one exhaust on it anyway. And I don't really want that look in the back where you're actually seeing the circles because that one wouldn't have a pipe over there. I like the piano black finish here versus the matte color. I feel like that makes it look a little bit more premium. I also like the blacked out motor, which you can get here on the special because I like everything blacked out. I love it. I think it looks more stealth and it just makes it pop just that much more. And if I was getting a road glide with a fairing like this, I definitely want the bigger infotainment center. So I feel like it's definitely worth it because by the time you add these upgrades on to a standard, you're going to be close to this price point. 
and you're still not going to have a 114 motor those are just a few of the differences between the standard and the special let me know down below what do you think would you prefer the standard or would you prefer the special now between the two bikes there's not a huge difference in the way they actually feel but there is a difference in the way they perform not someone who cares too much about the torque and how fast you're going to be going on the bike if you're just going to be cruising and taking off at slow speeds the 107 may be perfectly fine for you but for myself i like that power that comes out of the 114. i honestly don't feel like i could go back to a 107 or not even back to because i don't own a 107 or a 114 i just ride a lot of these bikes but if i was purchasing one that was going to be my bike because if i purchased one of these i plan on having it long term i feel like the 107 i would just feel like something's lacking because of the fact that i've ridden the 114 and the 117s ideally the 117 would be my preference such as the road glide st but if i had to pick between the standard and the special i'm getting the special because of the 114 motor the piano black as well as the larger screen and the blacked out motor because I'm not somebody who wants all that chrome. I bought bikes that were mainly aluminum or chrome on the engine and it's a pain to switch it everything to black. You got to spend quite a bit of money. You got to do some painting or powder coating. It gets pricey if you want your stuff blacked out. So if you're one of those people who want a blacked out motorcycle, you might as well get the special or the ST because they already come for the majority blacked out. Now, can you notice a difference in that little bit of torque 118 foot pounds of torque versus 111 foot pounds of torque yes you can notice a difference is it a huge difference like a game changing difference no but once you start adding on some mods to get more performance out of the bike that's when you really know the difference once you do like a full exhaust system like full stage one or stage two once you do those type of things you really know notice a difference between the 114 and the 107 comment down below if y'all like me to make a video on one of the 107s as well i can do that and bring the 107 out and let you know how that feels in a ride just like i'm doing here with the 114. in my opinion the reason you notice the difference in the torque is because harley davidson these v-twin motors they have the torque down low so as soon as you're hitting it it's right there so of course you're going to notice a difference in the torque if it's instant as soon as you hit the throttle because all of that torque all of that power is down low in the rpm range that's just my opinion i could be wrong about that but i'm pretty sure i'm accurate oh i forgot to mention um earlier today bob from bob's garage i'll link his channel down below y'all should check his channel out too he reached out to me on facebook because i was i was so adamant about the fact because me and him were talking the other day and i was so adamant about the fact that 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 harley davidson 350 motorcycle was gonna hit u.s soil but so many people were saying it wasn't and i honestly started to feel like it wasn't but cycle world i'll put a link down in the description below but they put out something that stated they found out that harley will be releasing that 350 on u.s soil i read through the article it looks like they filed something with the united states that shows that they're definitely releasing it as a riding academy bike because it had i think it was x350 ra was the model number but they also filed something for a regular x350 i don't think they would file it if they didn't plan on releasing it so we might actually see a 350 harley hit u.s soil this year i know some people aren't going to be happy about that i feel like it's great for newer riders those riders that are on 350s and um 500 class cc motorcycles i feel like those people would love to be able to pick up a harley davidson in that motor size versus 
picking up one of like um versus picking up a honda or something like that in in the cruiser market that's just my opinion but y'all can let me know what y'all think down below man i just love exhaust pipes i don't care what they are as long as they rumble i love me a good sound and exhaust don't think i'm making this light oh maybe i will maybe i won't <sighs> hope i do No, I'm making it no matter what now. I was thinking about doing a meetup, but I don't know how many people are in the North Carolina area that watch this channel that would be able to come out to the meetup or that would want to do a meetup. If any of you thinks that would be a cool idea, comment down below and I could plan something like that for later this year. Let me show y'all what I mean by this baby got torque. Let's see back it off a little bit i'm gonna hit it and it's gonna go oh <laughs> oh yeah i'm telling you that 114 puts out plenty of torque and just think the 117 puts out even more man that bike will go you got 118 foot-pounds of torque. You got six gears. You've got a comfortable seating position. You got a navigation right there. I could be playing music, but then I'll probably get uh, demonetized because I don't have my phone linked up to this bike to play some non, some royalty-free music. But I mean, you get the gist of it y'all wouldn't hear the music no way but you got everything you could possibly need on here i have my backpack on right now but technically i didn't have to bring a backpack i could have put everything in the bags it's just i didn't feel like unpacking my backpack 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 you got plenty of passing power on this motorcycle i'm really falling in love with these road glide i know i was all about like smaller motorcycles such as my sportster and i still want a dyna dynas and you know my other bikes but the more and more i hop on a road glide i'm falling in love with these i'm actually i was telling lou that i feel like because he has the street glide he likes it but i can tell deep down inside he has some doubts about getting it and i was telling him about the road glide and i showed it to him like i told him to get a road glide in the first place he just didn't want to do it but now he's thinking about a road glide he he's starting to like these babies he needs to go out and ride one and then you know I feel like he'll be more passionate about it. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like and comment down below. Make sure you're sharing the content. I'm gonna be bringing you all the 2023s this year. I'm about to pull back into the dealership. I actually can't wait to ride that Rogue Glide 3. I'm not a trike guy, but I'm gonna take that one out. I'll check y'all out in that next one.